What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. On today we're going to be talking what type of gear you need to start musky fishing. Let's get right into it. Oh, baby, is the game over? oh my god, that was sick! So this is a question I've been asked a lot and here's your wish. Alright guys, first things first, let's talk rods. The two rods that I use are the Shimano Compre. This is an 8 foot 6. This is a heavy action rod. Just a beautiful, beautiful rod for muskies. Now, this is a little bit on the cheaper side for those who don't have a budget. For those who are on a budget, this is a perfect muskie rod right here. I mean... Just a nice corkscrew handle, good graphite, very strong, caught me many fish. And another rod that I do use is one of my favorites, the St. Croix Musky Mojo. Now this is the new one with the new grip handle, very nice, beautiful rod with good sensitivity, good graphite, and most importantly, a good backbone. For reals, for real, <laughs> for reals. I personally use the Shimano Calcutta 400B, absolute workhorse of a reel. Now they are tougher to find these days but you can see I'm missing a screw on this one but still didn't stop it from catching me over 50, 60, 70 muskies alone just on this reel. A good high gear ratio reel is very important out there if you're working baits you get a hit you need to collect that line fast. If you're working much more slower baits, you want to obviously lower gear ratio. This is the reel that I use. This is the reel I swear by. There are many other reels out there, but this is the one I love the most. Round reel, there's uh, the more compact reels, but I like the round reel. Now let's talk line. Me, what I use is a 100 pound braid. The lowest I would go for muskies is 80 pound. 80 pound and I always use braid never anything else always use braid for muskies the only other thing I'll use is fluorocarbon or mono and that's only for the leader now let's talk leaders you can see here you can see here I got my leader this is a 12 inch leader this is the leader that I suggest you guys use it's a 120 pound fluorocarbon very strong no stretch and it's just absolutely perfect for these fish. Now one of the most important things in musky fishing, make sure you carry a good big net. Big nets are very important because those small bass nets, those walleye nets, they're not going to cut it. You need something very large. Now when you're musky fishing, you're going to need tools, all right? Uh, always have you one of these. So when you do land a musky, you want to bonk it over that. No, nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Um, but you do need, first of all, a pair of jaw spreaders. Sometimes these fish will engulf the bait, swallow it, and it's going to be hard to get the bait out. So with the help of these, you can get the fish's mouth open while you get the bait out. If you have to, cut them out with bolt cutters. We'll get into that in a second. So make sure you have a good pair of bolt cutters. Now I'm just playing, this is not a bolt cutter. I'm currently waiting on mine to come in the mail. But there will come times when you do need the bolt cutters to cut those hooks out and make sure that fish gets back as soon as possible without damage done. Another great thing you need to have is a pair of pliers. And not just any pliers, something like this, this is not going to work. Long nose, good strong pliers. Long nose so you can get into the mouth of that fish and get those hooks out. Do not musky fish without a pair of long nose pliers, alright? Now this is optional if you want, if you like to measure your fish. I like to have a nice bump board. As you can see, nice big bump board. I think it's 60 inches, yep, 60 inch bump board. And this is specifically designed for muskies. All right, so it's got a 
nice plank so you can rest those fish on there. Like compared to if you're using a, a ruler or measuring tape, those fish are going to be on the ground squirming around or uh, on the bottom of your boat. This helps keep the fish safe. Make sure you wet it before you put the fish on there and they can sit right on that plank. Thank you for watching today's episode guys. If this episode helped you out and you would like to see more videos like this, leave me a comment, a like, comment on what you thought. Maybe I said something wrong. I'm not a pro, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and an even better night.